Well, what a chaotic start. <laughs> I wanted to come over here to this necromancer in white run to grab the ring that she usually has on her. But then this bandit aggroed me like I was going to get into a starting position. And then the aggro from the bandit aggroed the necromancer. So here we are. No more. All right. Welcome back to episode two, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed episode one. And I know what you're thinking, man, we're over here in Whiterun. Why is it always Whiterun? Well, I'm going to try to not stay too long in Whiterun. Uh, mostly just want to grab some some nice little upgrades. And this ring is one of them. I was hoping for a little better than minor. I'm not sure if it's always minor or if it's a chance to be higher. But minor is what we got. So minor is what we're working with. What I want to see is we did level up and I got apprentice, which means I can technically cast uh, my apprentice conjuration spells now, at least with my current uh, armor weight. So we're going to go do White River Watch and the bear the bear might actually come in handy. Uh, that bear's pretty tanky and uh, he lasts quite long. 70 seconds. That's pretty good. I almost wonder if we don't get hit 70 seconds might be enough time for our our magic pool to regenerate. So uh, at the end of last episode, went ahead, went back through that dungeon, looted everything, uh, turned in like Leifner's body. What the fuck was that? What's that about? Just a little odds and ends like that to get some insights. Killed some wolves along the road. Okay, let's try the bear. Your belly like an old woman's purse. Speaking of a bear, there looks like there was another bear up here at one point. Ooh, there goes all of our stamina. I'll be a little bit more mindful of that. Would have been nice if the bear could have maybe knocked them down. But we can always summon a mud crab boy finish these guys off. You're a fool to fight. Bear did some decent damage to the orc here. I don't know where this other guy's going though. I cannot best you. This is where summoning the wolf is sometimes better. Oh, wolf's already dead. Okay, that was a bit scary. I didn't want to commit too much. Alright, those steel plate boots, I guess, were better than our orcish ones. Very slightly. Yeah, I'll take it. Steel plate gives us slash protection, whereas... Uh, orcish gave us slightly better stamina, I guess. I was thinking of the Dwemer trait. Maybe I should have kept the orcish. It'll be okay. This guy had some stuff on him. by health. Yeah, we want that. What we need is some, like, healing poultices or something. Oh, there's some ingredients over here. Okay. Yeah, obviously the, the boss at White River Watch give us a nice pair of gauntlets. We got Conjuration Ring, and then there's two random pieces of enchanted heavy armor that we can grab in uh, one's north of halted stream near one of ghouls towers and then there's the one north of dustman's cairn what? hey somebody get down here help ah! All right, and here's where we run through. Take you out. Or 
much we get hit by some stupid shit. I'm gonna take a Magicka Potion here. Because if we can summon another bear, that would be really nice. Holy shit. You call yourself a wizard? I cannot best you. Oh god. Yeah, I just noticed the invisible one right in front of me. I saw the invisible shader. Taking a lot of damage in here thanks to these stupid tricksters. And uh the guy with the bow that is exploding arrows. I'm gonna have to restock on healing potions before I go to the next location, probably. Unless I can pick up a handful in here. Yeah, bear is pretty good. <laughs> bear is definitely going to help us in a lot of cases. So it was very much needed that we got that conjuration ring so that we're able to cast it. Would be nice if it didn't cost us our entire magicka pool to summon them so we could summon them a little more frequently. But, you know, if, if you have like sections in a dungeon where you fight three enemies and then you have time before the next room or whatever then you can do that. Oh gosh, wait, where's our bear? Come on, little mud crab. The little mud crab who could. Spirit wolf scroll. Yeah, I don't think we need a scroll for that. Yeah, I'll, I'll loot this place afterwards. No sense in making you guys go through all of it. I say that and then I keep looting. But I guess opening chests would be good in case we find potions. Oh, healing poultice. I will gladly take that right now. Ooh, fortify two-handed good. That, that is good. I got a big heavy armor one. Hopefully the bear can send them flying. Oh, I think I just hit my own bear. Oh shit. Let's take a magic potion here. See if we can't get to the point where we can summon another one. Yeah, big boy's making this a little bit harder. What did I get stuck on? Fucking rock or something. This is the only bad part about the bear sometimes is stupid AI. Really? How did you hit me there? No, you'll pay for that. I'll paint the snow with your blood. All right, bear. We've almost got enough magic to summon another one. Damn. Guy stunned me for long enough that I couldn't swing. We are just burning through these healing potions. This guy is a freaking tank, man. How is he blocking from the side like that? Yeah, 
So this will be a little bit better once, you know, once we have a little bit better stamina management, but also uh, once we have like a hard hitting Warhammer and then we can power attack with, then these guys will go down like, you know, two shots rather than having to smack a bunch of times with a, a quarter staff. Yeah, like, if, if we didn't have Bear in this situation, we'd have been running a lot and summoning Wolf a lot. I just hope we have enough potions to get <laughs> get by. Well, we'll just have to go buy some potions. I mean, I've got a decent amount of gold still, and uh, we'll get the bounty for clearing this place as well. I think I am going to use a burning oil for this guy. So I'll do this location, then probably Halted Stream, and I'll probably not do, uh, I'll probably not fight Ron the Crow. Oh, I hope the bear doesn't send him flying down the mountain, now that I think about it. Oh my god. Bear is just chewing through him. Uh, still curious. No, I like what we're wearing better because it's lighter weight. Oh, I don't need to grab his other gauntlets. We're going to be wearing these guys. Get some extra strength to our two handed weaponry. Fortify health, fortify stamina. Come on, healing potions. We got one. Ah, Ring of Feather Falling. This must always be here. Uh, definitely a good ring to have, though. Clue scroll. Okay. I'm going to loot this place and then off to the next location. I'd like to fit more into these episodes. I feel like I might have to get a little bit more aggressive with the cuts. And maybe just cut out stuff that's really just low-tier content in the sense of difficulty. So... We're going to do Halted Stream, which, as you can see, actually has a decent amount of fucking enemies. And pretty much anything... I, I just don't want to be showcasing anything weaker than what we're doing in that current moment. Uh, which I just remembered. I actually wanted to... Apparently I don't have any magic potions. I wanted to level up before coming here. Why can I not sprint? What the fuck's going on? Sprint key wasn't working. Holy shit, why are there like 40 dudes here? Yeah, this doesn't seem right. Guess they have a bunch of scrolls. I mean, how is one person supposed to fight all of these people? <sighs> Damn, that just drains my stamina so fucking quick. Someone's gonna get hurt. You. Like, I have my stuff active. Like, what is going on? Oh, great. The terrain ate my summon. Uh, Skyrim engine. I'm all for, like, adding, like, you know, difficulty and stuff like that for some locations, but to me, this is just artificial difficulty. Adding five bandits to a location outside, it just resorts to boring gameplay like this. Like, realistically, what am I supposed to do? Come back here whenever I can fight ten, ten bandits at once? So what locations am I going to do at level five if we're going to do that?
Oh my god, now those guys are aggroed? Okay. Why is this costing so much stamina? Something is not right with my stamina costs. I fought worse than you. Well, I gotta swing this weapon. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. Cool. Only one of them aggroed on the mud crab. Like, I don't even know if I want this to be in the video. Like, this, is, this isn't fun to watch. This is just me running around waiting for my magic to regen. I mean, that's part of the build sometimes, but this is not exactly what I wanted the build to be. I can kill him at least. And then I can't even capitalize on getting some damage in because this stupid Dunmer. Now there's an archer shooting exploding bolts at us. Uh, sometimes additional spawns are fine, other times this is just unfun. Especially when they play like this. Yeah, they just waste time until another bandit comes, and then when there's three of them, they're all super aggro. You're a fool to fight me. And I did not get more healing potions because I looked at how many we had and I was like, oh yeah, you know, this should be fine. This bear going to be putting in some work, though, that's for sure. Ah, you sweat. I'm going to blade you. So this is like literally going to be the full episode, which is really annoying. That's not what I wanted to do. Alright. Oops. Come on, bear. We've got more this way. We're fighting all of Skyrim now. Probably out of healing potions. I have two left. down, but I just need to do that. Yeah, 
I cannot best you. I love that they put their fucking. What's the matter, friend? Oh, what, what happened to my bear? I'll gut you like a fish. Yeah, I'm so glad he put his bow away. Not so tough now with your 40 buddies with you? Yeah. Real tough. Still hear arrows yeah, flying like at me. Hear me? Dead. I'll have your head on a pike. No one that's so enough tough now, are you? I'll sort of curse you. Should have just led him to the fucking mammoths. Magic is for the weak. But having 40 bandit friends fight with you is is not for the weak. I do have this scroll. I mean, the game's gonna glitch out so I can't use it effectively, but I do have it. I'll show you what a real oh, those boots will look mighty fine on me. Ridiculous range. You puny, I'll show you a real fight. Trying to stay close to my astronaut here. Head on my wall. I fought with you. Mercy. You will pay for that. No. Come on, bull rushing. You get some potions, man. Killing me. Flame astronaut coming in clutch. Yeah, resist projectiles potion. How funny is that? How fucking funny is that? Did we win yet? Holy shit. I mean, I know we, we caught the attention of two different camps, but that was still, you know, just a tad ridiculous. I mean, we burned through, like, all of our resources. We've got, like, nothing left. But a bunch of stamina potions, which helped a lot. Ah, but I suppose as we get more proficient in our conjuration skill, we'll be able to keep up summons of substantial value for long periods of time. And keep them coming so that fighting hordes of enemies won't be nearly as bad. Still, that was just... That was horrendous. Alright, let's actually level up this time. Because I do want to... Oh, real quick, just to show everybody. On my three tweaks configuration for leveling. 
Um, oh, actually, I'm glad I looked at it because I didn't have it set. Oh, this is why it was popping up in combat. Well, that should fix it. Uh, yeah, I change it to 15 for this portion, 30 and then 40. I just like this pace of leveling a little bit better. So let's go, which means I'm like two regular insights away from getting conjuration. Is it 30 or 35 that I need? It might only be 30. No, it's 35. I want to get spiritual binding. Uh, let's see here, mage skills, conjuration. Cool, we're almost there. Well, apologies for what might be a lackluster video because that was just the most frustrating thing to deal with. But at least when I finish up here, I can go loot the other place. So what I was getting at before I went to this location is pretty much anything that's of lesser difficulty. I'm just not going to show. Like, I got to go to Redoran's Retreat to get Amran's Sword. I'm not going to be showing off Redoran's Retreat. You guys have seen Redoran's Retreat. I maybe should have summoned a bear for this guy. Looks tanky. I don't think that should have hit me, but... Okay, I would have believed more that the next shot hit me than that one. But you know what? It is what it is. Conjuration. Now we have potent spirit summons. Alright, we're low on healing again, so... Let's see how this goes. I'd have to run. Did you hear something? Did you hear something? Shit. The boss is an archer. Oh my god, my spirit bear is literally already dead. What the fuck, man? Pray to Stendar while you can. Me. Oh, he's got Elvin. No one bests an or. Oh, great. Orcish bow. Love to see it. I'll skin you alive. Okay, looks like they're having a standoff right now. I mean, we're winning this war of attrition right now. I can't even like go down there and bull rush the archer because I wouldn't be able to kill him fast enough and he'll just get up and kill me. Oh, that's right. They don't follow out of Halted Stream. Lovely. Let's be a placeholder for his UI. Oh, we'll just wait for our magic to regen, I guess. Do it this way. Oh, you know what we could do? This could help a little bit with our stamina. And then ale. Slightly worse regen. That's okay. Get a little extra health out of it. Right health, four, five, stamina, ale. Okay, cool. Let's try this. They're gonna probably forward power attack me the moment I come in here. Over here. Okay. Well, that went better than I thought it was going to. Time to end this. Yeah, we ended it all right. And our reward. One healing potion. Oh man, that was like a vanilla Requiem chest. Okay, well, that made for 
pretty silly episode. Uh, I think I'll just show off the random bits of armor that I get and probably going to call it there. So just in case anybody doesn't know about this location, which I don't think maybe a lot of people do, but right over here next to Broken Hilt Lookout, uh, there is this like little shrine up here and there's some goodies in here and we just found an enchanted archery helmet. So nothing impressive, uh, but figured I'd just show you guys this location and then I'll show you the next random roll we get for gear upgrade. And the last random little loot section is over here at Hamvir's Rest. Most of you probably know about this one. And unfortunately, it's Dwimmer. It's Dwarven Puncturing. So that's probably not that good early on. Um, we have a different helmet we're going to be going for in probably next episode. Uh, that's going to be a better upgrade than that. So kind of a... <laughs> I don't know if this is a lackluster episode. Maybe you guys enjoy the 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 mass bandit combat um is kind of boring to me personally but uh, i do apologize if this episode wasn't uh what you're hoping it to be but hopefully going into next episode well we're gonna be fighting ingall and if you guys you guys know how fighting ingall is when you don't have a lot of damage damage output so uh that might be a boring fight as well but hey we got to get our upgrades where we can get our upgrades man so that we can start taking on some harder content I don't want to be stuck on bandits forever. Uh, there are a couple bandit locations that I will be doing off screen, uh, such as like Red Urn's Retreat, might do like Igor's Camp, stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, just to, just to keep the character's progress going without, you know, the first five episodes being all bandits. But, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you next time. See ya.